Today we're looking at two mid-range Android smartphones from two of our favourite manufacturers, HTC and Samsung. In one corner we've got the HTC Desire X, which costs around £200, and it's battling against the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini, which will set you back around £280. But which is best? With a soft touch black finish, the Desire X is easy to grip, while touches like the metal camera mount and edges look and feel premium. Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini looks like a miniature version of the S3, with a hyperglaze white finish and silver trim. However, its plastic construction doesn't feel premium, although the curved back and corners ensure it is comfortable to hold. Despite both being Android phones, control placement is slightly different. The HTC Desire X's power button is located at the top, while the S3 Mini's is on the side. Both have volume rockers on opposing sides. The S3 Mini has touch-sensitive menu and back keys, and you access open applications by holding down the solid middle home key. A method of navigation we prefer to the Desire X's trio of capacitive back, home and open application buttons. When it comes to internal storage, the Galaxy S3 Mini wins. Along with a microSD slot, it comes with 8GB internal memory, of which 4.5GB is usable, and there's also the choice of a 16GB option. The HTC Desire X has 4GB internal storage, but only around 1GB of, of this is usable, so a microSD card is an essential investment if you plan on taking photos and downloading lots of apps. Both phones offer Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4 and 3G, but not 4G, which isn't really a surprise at this price. In addition, the Galaxy S3 Mini offers Wi-Fi Direct and dual-band Wi-Fi. Neither phone has an NFC chip for contactless payments, although an NFC-equipped version of the Galaxy S3 Mini is coming soon. The HTC Desire X and Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini both have 4-inch screens with a resolution of 480 by 800 which is fairly standard at this price. The Desire X has a Super LCD 2 panel with more natural colours and blacks that aren't quite as deep, but purer whites, although it's not as bright as the S3 Mini. The S3 Mini uses a Super AMOLED panel, which means deeper blacks and bold, eye-popping colours. It's personal preference whether you prefer the saturated colours of the Galaxy S3 Mini or more natural colours of the Desire X. Off-angle viewing is good on both devices, although at more extreme angles the Desire X is better. With the S3 Mini you get a blue tinge associated with AMOLED technology. Both phones run Android but the user experience is very different. The HTC Desire X uses Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. This is a slightly older version of Android, although many pricier phones are still waiting for the update. The Galaxy S3 Mini runs Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Both phones are heavily skinned with HTC Sense 4.1 and Samsung's TouchWiz Nature UX respectively. Both let you customise multiple home screens with apps, folders and shortcuts. With understated colours and attractive widgets, we like the look of HTC Sense more and it's arguably easier to use. TouchWiz is more flexible though, with access to the Samsung App Store and cool features like motion controls and pop-up play. Both phones include dual-core processors. The S3 Mini has 1GB of RAM, while the Desire X has 768MB of RAM. We ran a couple of benchmarks and the Galaxy S3 Mini is more powerful. However, in real-world use, the phones are pretty much equal when moving around the UI, especially if you delete lots of the pre-installed widgets. A 3D game like Temple Run and YouTube videos launch a little bit quicker on the Galaxy S3 Mini. Inside the HTC Desire X is an 1800mAh battery, and the Galaxy S3 Mini has a 1500mAh battery. We found we needed to charge both at the end of the day, depending on use. Both Android phones include a 5 megapixel camera complete with LED flash and autofocus. Delve into the menu system in either phone and you'll find an evenly matched selection of features. This includes ISO, white balance, macro, smile and panorama. There are also filters and scene modes. The HTC Desire X also offers an HDR mode. Photos taken using the HTC have bolder colours, while colours from the S3 are more natural. But we were less impressed with the HTC's white balance, indoors and out, which tended to be a little bit pinkish. The HTC Desire X takes sharper photos outside, but examine pictures closely and noise is more of a problem and it struggles to reveal detail in high contrast situations. The S3 Mini is the best for video, capturing sharp and clear 720p HD movies with a respectable sound. In contrast, the HTC shoots at a maximum resolution of 800 by 480 resulting in much softer, if more vibrant, movies. We like the design of the HTC best. It's a stunning phone with a good screen and decent camera, and HTC Sense is incredibly user-friendly. The Galaxy S3 Mini is more versatile though, with more storage, better video performance and more RAM. Despite this, it looks and feels cheaper. But with performance so close, is it really worth £80 more? If you're a Samsung fan, yes. If not, maybe wait till the price drops.